the meniscus allograft transplant instrumentation is designed to simplify preparation and implantation. The instrumentation features an all-in-one graft preparation table and tibial drilling system. This easy-to-use instrumentation helps eliminate the complexity of meniscus allograft preparation and delivers reproducible implantation every time. To begin, detach the meniscus from the rim of the bone block and flip the meniscus over the clamp of the graft station. Align the midline insertion points of the meniscus horns with the laser etch line on the graft station. Once aligned, secure the graft into place by tightening the graft station's clamp onto the tibial plateau. Next, place the vertical fence over the guideposts so that the etching that reads cut number one faces the front of the graft station. Insert the saw blade to confirm the meniscus horns will not be damaged. Repeat this step with the cut number three etching facing the front of the graft station. Once alignment is confirmed, reposition the vertical fence so that the cut number one etching faces the front of the graft station. Perform the initial cut, cutting all the way through the bone block. Then remove the vertical fence. Place the horizontal fence over the guideposts so the etching that reads cut number two faces the front of the graft station. The graft station can be inverted to facilitate alignment and cutting. Align the top of the fence so that it intersects with the midpoint between the posterior aspect of the anterior horn and the anterior aspect of the posterior horn. Then, align the horizontal fence so it is parallel with the base of the graft. Perform the second cut to a depth of 15 to 20 millimeters and leave the fence in place once complete. Next, place the vertical fence over the guideposts so the etching that reads Cut number three faces the front of the graft station. Ensure the meniscus is clear from the cutting fence. Perform the final cut. Then remove both fences. The 10 degree all included angle helps prevent vertical lift of the bone block within the tibial trough. Place the allograft into the depth setting guide and seat the shaver clamp over the bone block. Tighten the clamp to secure the allograft. Next, place shaver number one over the guideposts and gently shave the allograft until the bone block slides smoothly over the shaver. Then, place shaver number two over the guideposts and repeat the shaving process. Once complete, confirm the allograft shape by placing the bone block into the rounded trial slot. A rangeur can be used to trim up to 5 millimeters of remaining bone posterior to the posterior horn attachment site. To prepare the recipient tunnel, use anteromedial and anterolateral portals for a visualization of the damaged meniscus. For lateral meniscus allograft transplants, an accessory anterolateral portal should be placed at the lateral tibial eminence with a direct anterior to posterior trajectory in line with the meniscus horns and medial to the lateral intercondylar notch. The anterolateral incision should extend 5 cm to allow for unobstructed placement of the drill guide's teeth against the anterior aspect of the tibia. Then, remove the fat pad to aid in visualization and remove the damaged meniscus. Perform a notchplasty to aid in approach. Starting at the anterior horn, burr toward the posterior horn to create a shallow trough level with the tibial plateau. Then, insert the drill guide into the incision vertically. Once inside the joint, rotate the guide horizontally to avoid damage to the articular cartilage. Once the posterior aspect of the tibia is reached, rotate the guide back to the vertical position and secure the guide's hook to the posterior cortex of the tibia. Rotate the tightening ring clockwise to secure the guide to the tibia. Next, insert the drill guide sleeve until the sleeve contacts the tibia. Lock the sleeve into place by rotating the cam lock. Then, insert and drill the 2.4 mm drill until the depth stop is engaged. Replace the drill with the 2.4 mm pin. Insert until the mark on the pin aligns with the back of the guide's alignment arm. Then, remove the sleeve. 
Align the 10 mm drill over the pin and drill until the depth stop is engaged. Once complete, remove the guide from the joint. Then, insert the guide rod into the tunnel until it contacts the posterior tibial cortex. Align the chisel over the guide rod and gently tap the chisel until the depth stop is engaged. Remove both the chisel and the guide rod from the joint. Then, insert the rasp into the trough and assess the fit of the rasp within the trough. Utilize the rasp to remove residual articular cartilage if necessary. To prepare the graft for insertion, place a 2-0 hi-fi suture through the junction of the posterior horn and the body of the meniscus. Then, pass the suture through the posterolateral portion of the joint capsule. Pull tension on the suture to pull the meniscus allograft under the femoral condyle. Finally, use zone-specific two cannulas and hi-fi double-arm needles to fix the meniscus. To ensure stability, suture the meniscus around the remaining rim in the order shown. This completes the meniscal allograft transplant procedure.